गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जुलाई टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी एंड टुडे वॉज द प्रैक्टिकल एग्जाम फॉर द सप्लीमेंट्री बैच ऑफ सेकेंड प्रॉफ एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द म्यूजियम वेयर वी हैव कंडक्टेड द स्पॉटिंग एग्जाम सो लेट मी शो यू द स्पॉट विच वी हैव कैप्ट फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज द स्पॉट नंबर वन स्पॉट नंबर वन सो दिस वॉज अ फीम ओके a film the question asked was identify the poison what are the alkaloids present in it okay so this is under comes under neurotic group and further further under somniferous papaver somniferum okay alkaloids are in two different forms of alkaloids are there okay so this was the second spot This was a bottle of organo phosphorus compound, OPC compound. Okay. And question asked was, identify the chemical constituent responsible for its poisoning. Drugs used for its treatment. Okay. <clears throat> Drugs used for its treatment. That is atropine and palm also, whenever required. This was the third spot. this hammer was kept okay and the question asked was identify the weapon mention the kind of weapon kind of weapon will be heavy blunt weapon and the injury is caused by it so it can cause depressed fracture over the skull we also called as signature fracture plus it can cause lacerations okay then the next spot spot number 4 uh this was a cartridge of rifled firearm okay this is not bullet this is cartridge and the question asked was identify the weapon what are the components in it means different components of the cartridge of rifled firearm were asked the components are in the base there is percussion cap in the center primer then cartridge case and in the cartridge case we have propellant that is the gunpowder then bullet okay this was the next spot spot number 5 this skull was kept so you can see uh, in this fronto nasal angulation is not that prominent and this mastoid is little finger shape orbits are round so this was female skull even it is very light muscular markings are less prominent so question asked was identify the sex of this bone tell two points in your favor so we must remember these points of mastoid process fronto nasal angulation muscular markings shape of the orbit uh, next specimen specimen spot number 7 this was specimen of brain and this this blackening is there basically this is specimens for brain hemorrhage actually hemorrhage color is red but because of formalin it has turned into black this is the old specimen present in our museum okay uh, basically we have recovered it from a donated body it was not from a medical legal case uh, but being private hospital private medical college we are not uh, authorized to conduct medical legal autopsy so our most of the specimens are from donated bodies okay so it was a brain hemorrhage but not traumatic okay it was natural death case and we have kept it in our museum for teaching purpose question asked is identify the specimen tell the medical legal findings present in this specimen so it's a, a subdural subdural hemorrhage what shall be the cause of death so cause of death in this case will be compression of the brain stem okay the pressure caused by the hematoma that compresses the brain stem and in that brain stem vital centers are there respiratory centers and cardiac centers and because of the compression the person dies so that is the cause of death okay next specimen is this fetus next is this fetus is there okay this fetus and the question asked is identify the specimen 
but the formula used for determination of its age for age estimation we use hess formula in which we measure the length of the fetus approximately length like uh, approximately length for it will be around 16 cm so as per hess the age will be 4 month uh next specimen was this x-ray film this is a very old film which is there with us in this uh there is structure of the acromion process uh, if you can see this acromion process fracture is there it's a incomplete fracture it's not complete fracture at least a very interesting case i still remember this case although its case is of 2007 date is written 8th march 2007 actually this patient came to our hospital uh with a leg history of assault and he was complaining of pain in the shoulder area but on uh, routine x ray no fracture was there and we have once uh, declared this injury as simple but patient continued to complain of pain uh, we again repeated the x ray but conventional x ray again there was no fracture so nature of injury remained simple but after 2 days patient again continued to complain of pain and then at that time 2007 uh just uh, digital x-ray machine was newly installed in our institute and we went for digital x-ray and in digital x-ray this incomplete fracture was detected so later on supplementary report was sent to the police and all the details were sent and this injury which was earlier declared as simple was declared as grievous because of this incomplete fracture of the acromion process of the scapula question asked is is tell the medico legal findings present in this x-ray even this arrow arrow mark is there where there is fracture okay arrow mark is there then uh, spot number 10 uh, this is a model you can see the froth coming out from the nostrils this is fine leathery white copious froth typical of drowning okay so question was medico legal findings present in this model okay so this was the uh, spotting for a supplementary batch uh, let me show you some other spot which was kept in the viva table uh, this was one actually bone uh, i was telling uh, spot number 6 this spot number 6 this bone was kept see if you can see uh, there is a mal united fracture okay this is a uh, fibula and this deformity actually mal union is there because of mal union so old fracture was there and question asked was identify the bone and its medico legal importance so medico legal importance will be it was a fracture a grievous injury section 320 clause 7 of ipc uh, now let me show you the other spots which was kept uh, uh, during the viva again this one fetus was there and then some poisons like this is dutura seeds kidney shaped seeds seeds dutura this is seeds of strychnine nux vomica spinal poison this was sindoor lead red lead which causes plumbism uh, this is thorn apple again for dutura okay then this rope was there for hanging strangulation cases this blade was kept which can cause incised wound hesitation cut tentative cuts then this pellets was there this knife okay then this skull uh, this skull is of male uh, the hair fronto nasal angulation is more prominent okay and this uh, mastoid is thumb shaped and the orbits are square okay so these were the things which were kept for today exams additionally students were uh, told to write a post mortem report for a case of hanging and medico legal report for a case of stab injury to the abdomen so this was the viva practical exam uh, in the viva most of the questions were asked from the first chapter legal procedures and second chapter medical jurisprudence then uh, from other injuries and death chapters okay so thank you very much thank you Uh, Dr. Ankush has helped a lot for the conduct of today's exam. He is a demonstrator in the Department of Forensic Medicine. Thank you.